When you come in here, you're the person you want to be. You're already pregnant. You're already healthy. You're already vivacious. You're already rich. You're already in that job you want to be. And today is just a celebration of that. When the chakras are balanced, you're efficient, you're clear-minded, you're not being attacked by all of your emotions and your negativity. The way it works for me is I hear something, I hear that voice, and then I can kind of ignore it for a while, but then I start to get inefficient. It takes me longer to do things. I don't really feel like answering those phone calls. I don't really feel like writing that thing that I needed to write. It's important that we ground ourselves and let ourselves be authentic and fully self-express, but from a place where we feel grounded. I'm gonna show you this recipe. <clears throat> we feel bad. There's a sign inside, whatever it is, sad, frustrated, angry, worried, a feeling. The feeling should wake you up. Pain is meant to wake you up. You don't want to stay in the pain. Oh my God, it's not going to work out. I can't do it. It's too hard. It's too late. I'm too blah, blah, blah. So you say, okay, I feel pain. What's that going to cause me to do? That should cause you to go, what do I want? Instead of going, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You shift to the other side and you say, well, well, what would I want to happen in this case? What would be a good outcome? What is it that I really would love to see? And you define that. This is your desire. I know what I want. I know what I want. I know what I want. It's having that confidence to actually accept what you want and say what you want. But then you don't want to stay there because if you stay in the desire, that means you don't have it. I want it. I will be one day. Means I'm not now, but I will be one day. You following me? So then what's the real affirmation there? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I want to be, but I'm not. That's important. So desire is just the initial fire. It's just the flame of transformation. It's just that point where your heart starts to get excited that maybe it could work out. Maybe it will work out. So then you have to go to the yes. Well, if I want it, then I have to assume I am it. I have to assume I am it. Now, this is hard. If I want to lose 10 pounds, I say, you know what? I want to lose 10 pounds. And then I go, I am it. I'm 10 pounds lighter. I'm sexy, awesome, fierce. And then my mind goes, no, you're not. You didn't lose 10 pounds yet. So it doesn't work. Sometimes we try to like fool ourselves, but that doesn't work. So what we have to do is, this is the very important piece. I want it. I know that I want to have it. I can see the picture of it. I can see the vision of over there, what I want. Now, here's the piece. If I was already over there, what would I be feeling? So your goal is any way you can, at any time, all the time, get yourself to feel this way. Are you following me? Yes or no? Because if you get yourself to feel great and grateful and accomplished and proud for any reason, then you're assuming this is done with a feeling. You've got to find something that you're not doing now that you would be doing if that was already here and then do it. And then do it. It's like I'm waiting for the final contract for my book. I want to sell my book. I'm waiting to sell the book. Well, what do I need to do after I sell the book? Finish writing the book. So do I wait to finish writing the book till I get the deal? Yes or no? No. no. What do I do? I finish writing the book. And so when the second chakra is balanced, it's creativity. It's an artist. It's tapping in to that way of doing things that's unique to you. It's your taste and your flavor and your voice. And you start to recognize that voice of your own as valuable and that it matters. Because that's the key, that whatever you're going to be doing in life, only you can do it.